Before we start, I just need to point out that whenever you're dealing with data, please take a backup of it, because if you get anything wrong, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to get back once you've saved it. So before we do this next bit, just a little caveat there that, you know, please do make a backup of your data before you do any of this. The common thing to use Excel for is to remove duplicates in a list. Now this list could be anything. So it could be a list of names, it could be a list of items. In this case, I've got a list of fruit here and the quantity in kilograms. Very short list because I just want to demonstrate this too. And you can see here I've got apples here, apples here. They're different quantities, so not really truly duplicates. I've got oranges, two kilos there and two kilos there. So they are duplicates. Now, in more recent versions of Excel, this is very simple. All I need to do is go to this data tab here and go to remove duplicates. And I'm going to show you how you can do this in older versions as well. So this is Excel 2010, but works the same in Excel 2013. So for duplicates, you can see it's actually ticked the columns item and quantity. So all I had to do was make sure that I had selected at least one cell in here or I could have selected the whole range. So it's going to be looking for duplicates based on the item and the quantity. So for this, the apples won't be considered duplicates because they've got a different quantity. So if I click on OK, you'll see it's going to remove one duplicate value found and it's going to keep the remaining seven unique ones. And you can see it's removed already the oranges from there, but it's kept the apples. As I said, they're not quite unique. It's going to undo that. So it puts the oranges back in there. And I'm going to just do that again, but this time I'm going to untick the quantity. So this time it's looking for duplicates of anything in the item. So it's going to pick up the two apples and the two oranges as well. And I'm just going to click OK. And you can see that the message I've got this time is it's found two duplicate values. And you can see the apples removed from there. I can click on OK. So I'm just going to undo that. OK, so if you're going to do this, it's really important to take a backup of your data because once you've done it and you've saved it, really it's quite hard to get it back if at all. Okay, so the other way to do it on older versions if you don't have this remove duplicates button is to actually copy it. So what you're gonna do is use advanced, the advanced filter here. If you've got an older version, you'll have to go into the data menu and choose advanced. Click on that. You'll see here, it's got this unique records only. So I'm just gonna click on that. When I click on OK, you'll see it's just hidden the rows. There's row eight, there's row 10. What I'm going to do is copy it. I can go to another sheet and I can now right click and paste it in. And there you go, that's my new list. And you can see no hidden rows down the side here and it's now removed the duplicates. So that's how you can remove duplicates in Excel.